Since election night, 20 days of uncertainty, fueled by high-stakes negotiations over the future of the province. It's going to be different in there. <laughs> sure will. Today, a deal sealed with broad smiles and a handshake. Uh, I want to thank Andrew and the Green thank Caucus you for the work that you've yeah, done real pleasure. to make this place work. After 16 years in opposition and a hard-fought election, the NDP says it can take power with a little help. The BC Greens will give the BC NDP support to form government and the terms of the agreement, as I've mentioned, will be for four years. We're not looking to have an election any time soon. We're looking to show to British Columbians that minority governments can work. The Premier will have some choices to make without any doubt. Uh, the agreement that's been reached between the Green uh, Caucus and the BC NDP Caucus demonstrates that we have the majority support of members in the legislature uh, and that will be up to the Premier and the Lieutenant Governor to discuss. Recounts last week confirmed the results that first came in on election night. The Liberals won 43 seats, one shy of a majority. The NDP has 41, but add in the Greens and it gives them the magic number of 44 votes in the legislature. But there is still uncertainty on how this will all unfold. After the election, Clark said she would continue as Premier. This morning I talked with our Lieutenant Governor. She requested that I continue to serve as Premier. The reality is Clark no longer has the necessary seats. She promises to say more tomorrow, but for now... She continues to be the Premier uh, until such time as she either decides to resign or she convenes the legislature and there's a vote of no confidence. The ball is now in her court. Will she resign, which I would argue would be the graceful thing to do, or will she try to form the government? So uncertainty over when, but little doubt a big shift in power is coming. I have to say I got up with a, a bit of a spring in my step this morning. Details on where this will land are yet to come. One early casualty might be the already approved Kinder Morgan pipeline. Slowing down or killing that deal would have a major impact on both the province and the country. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Vancouver.